And we know one of us is gonna make it Thread the needle through that little hole You always knew Hollywood was you You always knew Hollywood was you You always knew Hollywood was you Doesn't matter how long it takes, I will make it to the summit. So this is one of my original oil paintings. This is the view of the Montage, which is located on the coast. Even at times they had nothing to show for it. But they kept on believing. Sometimes what I do is I act to go for a little run. So let me demonstrate my ability to run down the street. Here we go. Sometimes I even run backwards like this. See? And then I, I run like this. And I turn. Sometimes what I do is I, I run like this, and I turn, and I practice this balance right here. And then we flip it to the left hand, and we go back to the right hand, and we go back and forth as I'm demonstrating. And believe it or not, this type of activity has helped me make my forearms radically dense. Doesn't matter how long it takes, I will make it to the summit. You know. Some celebrities before they ever made it They had a rough it Even at times they had nothing to show for it But they kept on believing Fundamentally, if you research the homunculus theory Our hands have more real estate on the brain Than the rest of our senses combined You always knew Hollywood was you You always knew Take a rubber mallet. Just, so just imagine you take this rubber mallet and you bounce a ball off this rubber mallet. And then you work your way to your left hand and you bounce the golf ball with your left hand. And then eventually you're able to flip the hammer from one hand to the other. And imagine being able to actually calm your brain down, stop the golf ball, close your eyes, and recite the alphabet backwards. Here we go, ready? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, B, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, D, F, E, C, B, A. When I'm bouncing this golf ball off this four pound S-wing hammer, and I'm bouncing it from the head to the side, the head to the side, you can see that I'm twisting my wrist, and this is developing my forearm flexors and my forearm extenders. So I'm able to do this literally hundreds of times in a row. And now, in order for me to actually physically stop this golf ball on the hammerhead, I have to have an unbelievable sense of intuition. So this type of ambidexterity is allowing me to have tremendous vascularity. And this right here is a form of spatial intelligence, which is emanating from my right frontal and temporal lobes of my brain. And recent evidence now is being supported of this theory that the savant that's in the brain resides on the right side of the brain. So, so essentially by being able to flip the hammer from one hand to the other while I'm doing this, a four pound sledgehammer, I'm having activity across the corpus callosum, the cable that connects the two hemispheres. So this concept of being able to actually multitask and explain the hypothesis behind whole brain power as I'm doing these motor drills are actually physically thickening the myelin, bringing more blood volume to the brain hemispheres, especially the motor strips and the cerebellum. Try it for yourself and you'll find out how difficult this actually is. And so essentially what happens is by doing the ambidexterity factor, the hammer drills, the handwriting, essentially the mirror image writing, and the, the different aspects of multitasking. So, but while juggling two and a half pound metal balls, and by taking that four pound sledgehammer and bouncing the golf off of it, and reciting 
um, the first 200 digits of pi or Shakespeare or the states in alphabetical order or being able to do something so, so simple as A is one, B is two, C is three. What's happening is you're making more blood flow into the hippocampus structure and bilaterally. And you're making both sides of the brain actually expand their usage. And now science is proving the brain continues to thicken the corpus callosum, the cable that connects the two hemispheres. Even when I don't have my hammers with me, I, I usually have a couple of metal balls. So this is a two and a half pound metal ball and this one is a, about a pound. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce this one pound ball off the two and a half pound ball and I'm gonna recite the alphabet from Z to A, from the ends to the middle as an A, Z, B, Y, and then N, M, O, L down. And I'm going to successfully make this run. Here we go. Z, Y, X, W, D, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, E, C, F, E, D, C, B, A, A, Z, B, Y, C, X, D, W, E, B, F, U, G, T, H, S, I, R, J, Q, K, P, O, M, N, N, M, O, L, P, K, Q, J, R, I, S, H, T, G, U, F, B, E, W, C, Y, B, Z, A. Yeah, baby. Now that type of training is so intense and I can feel the rush in my head and I can envision doing it. Babe, I'm talking, babe, I'm rocking, you bring out the man in me. You got this book by its cover, you might never discover the lover, the man in me. You'd be surprised, gazing into my eyes, to see the new man in me. Looks can be deceiving. Hi, I'm Michael J. Lavery, and you're watching X-Core, so stay tuned.